Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We're standing out at the barnyard at my place and we are about to clean up the barnyard. So if you guys will remember, I had quite a couple days this spring uh, where I was hauling pretty hard to get this pile cleaned up. I got it cleaned up, but winter didn't stop there and I had to let the cows back into the barnyard and we've got a little bit of a pile built back up that I want to get cleaned up for this following winter. So. Uh, I brought the 4020 and the manure spreader out. We're gonna be loading it up with the JCB and smoothing this off and get it hopefully as good as I had it the spring, which I think I had it leveled back out real nice. There's a layer of gravel underneath there that I wanna expose again. So I'm gonna go ahead and start loading up the first load. Um, in a couple weeks here, I wanna get the grapple bucket out here and start tearing apart the barn piece by piece. So as you guys will remember in the derecho of 2020, around this time of year. Um, the barn suffered a couple uh, areas of damage. Uh, we decided to tear it down so that it didn't fall into the machine shed. And ever since we took the weight of the barn off there, the barn has slowly been falling in just more and more. So uh, it's time to tear out the rest of this foundation. Uh, as you guys can see for yourself, it's officially entered the do not enter zone. But uh, with mom's idea is to reuse a couple of those beams uh, and use them as fence posts, which I think they would make great fence posts because this barn is over 100 years old. It's to the point now where you should not enter under any circumstances. Um, that main beam in the center is causing a lot of slugging, as you guys can make out. Even looking at the posts in the middle that support, everything's just kind of tweaking towards the barn. And I'm afraid that the cows are going to be in here during a storm or something or rather, and uh, it's just going to collapse on them. So it's a safety hazard. Need to get need to get rid of it. Um, still trying to decide what I'm going to do in lieu of having the stone wall here, but uh, I can hopefully figure that out here in the next couple of weeks before before winter starts rolling around, and I got to bring the cows back in. If you guys know for anybody that's looking for stone, I've got plenty. Where that came from so i went through last year and built all this up with gravel and it definitely did a much better job at draining the water out long term i'd love to get a cement foundation in here but that's a discussion for another time so we're going to be hauling this out to the 11 acre hay field we just cut it recently so uh, it's starting to grow back really fast and i want to get this hauled out before it gets to the point where i'm doing more harm than good so let's load this up this first load has a lot of large sticks in it from the bales, so I'm gonna be taking it out to the pasture instead of the field. I don't want those big giant sticks in the hay. That one needs to be pumped up. Spreader's sitting cockeyed, that tire's low.
took three loads out of the barnyard now and I took one load out of the steer lot around the bale feeders and just spread it around here in the steer the steer lot because there's enough space where for what I plan to haul out of here I could just spread it out in the lot and um, on that first load I noticed that the front left end of the spreader was sitting really low to the ground and uh, I thought that that front left tire was low so I took it up filled it up and noticed that it didn't really seem to help well this is heavier material i've only got half a load on right now uh, but it is heavier and i noticed that the spreader was bouncing on that third dump into it and i just looked underneath it and i found a problem yeah that's not sitting right Let's try to see if we can see it on this side i don't feel comfortable sticking my arm underneath the spreader on the far side Well, I think it's safe to say the spreader's screwed. Let's try to see if we can get this unloaded. That's been a building problem. That didn't happen just all at once. It's actually not broke on top, but it's basically broke all the way around. The only part of it that hasn't given out yet is this top part here. We just got back from bringing the spreader home from the welding shop up the road. About got ran off the road by a oversized load, but uh, we made it. Now, we decided to take the spreader up to the welding shop because we felt that they could probably do a better job than we would have to patch it up. And uh, looking at it, I definitely feel that taking it up there was the better decision if we're going to continue to use the spreader. Um, the spreader, you know, has been on in the talks for a while, but uh, the longer that we can patch this one along to get us by, the better. And uh, the spreader really doesn't owe us much of anything, so why not patch it up if we can continue to use it so we took it up there it looks like they cut out the old frame and put in a new one here's the front of it they did a little bit of work on the far side as well over there i'm not totally sure what it needed on the front but uh if you look underneath you can see that they took it all the way back to the side of the box they didn't do anything to the opposite side so That'll be something to keep an eye on uh, as we continue to haul loads with it. I would say that this spreader's days of hauling down the road loaded are over. But uh, if we can still get by, you know, I've got a few more loads I'd like to take out out at my place. And um, I could haul it right out into the pasture there if I had to. Honestly, it's not like there's a lot that I need to get rid of. It's just um, areas that need to have a little bit of ground or dirt taken away so that they're level again. As long as this thing can keep getting us by until we can afford a coon spreader, we're gonna keep using it. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. Now, now it's time for us to head out there and start tearing apart the barn foundation when we get the time. But that'll be in another video. I'll see you then.